Hey, hi there Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'm thanking you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekend reading, July 5th to the 7th of 2019. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Ascendance. This is a predictive, condensed general reading. Please only take those portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps to bring your vibration into those future readings. I also send my intentions out for my community and my viewers. Please remember to check out that description box below. There is a free birth chart calculator at the bottom. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Capricorn. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Capricorn, this is a really good reading. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Number 10. The Ten of Cups. This is water energy. This is shared love. It's homecoming. It's spending a joyous time with your family. It's contentment. This is lasting happiness because it's inspired from above. It's perfect human love. It's true love and better than you expected. You'll be embarking on something that makes life worth living. Blessings, it's a happy home and shared love. It's a grateful and joyous family, and you have enough happiness to share with those around you. This is everybody's happy. Somebody wants a happy marriage. This is taking time to be grateful for all the love and happiness that you have in your life and focusing on what you do have and not on what you have not yet received. And you should be enjoying yourself at this time. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. The Three of Wands, Capricorn. This is fire energy. This represents expectation. It's waiting for something, something that's already been set into motion. And now you're going to have a realization of this hope. It's your ship coming in. It's working on already established patterns and acting mature and responsible and others will be responding to you in a positive way. So use a confident attitude. These are things set in motion. It's foresight and long-term plans, and now there's no turning back. It's a bright future ahead, and it makes it a great time to let go of past hurts. This is a travel card, and growth is certain. This is a project that's about to be completed, and benefits will be reaped from enterprises. And even though something's been achieved, there's still some more to do yet but your efforts are going to be rewarded. So expand your horizons. This is planning, travel, and optimism. And in love, make that first move and sort out what you want to achieve and what others are expecting of you and what your actions bring about. What have you failed to get done or left out? Who is waiting for you? Where are you headed? This is strategizing and planning and acting on intentions. It's exercising creative powers. It's managing operations, it's gathering input, it's delegating and thinking. There's more opportunities coming, so stay the path. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. This is your attitude. Number nine of cups, Capricorn. This is water energy, it's the wish card. You're going to get your wish. It's satisfaction. It's material wealth. It's great joy and happiness and your dreams coming true. It's everything you wanted and hoped for. You're feeling gratitude and appreciation for what you have now. This is overflowing love and intense pleasure. It's a positive end to a problem that was quite important and it's going to bring you joy and success. This is a wish or a goal that's going to become realized and a triumphant end to a problem. It's a fulfillment of a desire of paramount importance. There's emotional stability that's indicated as well as physical and material happiness. It's sensual pleasure, satisfaction, enjoyment, peace and harmony, and it comes from within you. So stray true to love and do something enjoyable together. This is an outpouring of pleasure, feelings of fullness from material and emotional pleasures. If you're so full of appreciation, you might feel like hosting a party. It's indulging and counting your blessings. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome. 
the results, and the advice. The Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn. This can be you, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This can also be the coming or going of a matter, or an offer that brings stability, or it could be a communication, the coming or going of a matter. This is someone bringing good news. And this is carefully considering where the value is and keeping your actions simple. And you'll benefit by going into nature and focusing on nutrition. This is someone that could be bringing you good news about money. This is being poised on the edge of adventure or travel. This is someone that moves with the flow. It's not fast and it's not slow. It's just steady. Kind of seems slow, though, when you're anticipating. This is someone that does their job. They're solidly dependable. They're responsible and predictable and determined. This is someone that works tirelessly and they put their nose to the grindstone and they get things done. And yet they may be eager to get back to their regular routine. This is someone that's kind to animals and children and they love nature. This is an eventual positive outcome in a situation which has dragged on for a long time or which seems fruitless. And now your fifth card, Capricorn. It's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. Number 16 of the Major Arcana in the Rider weight deck, the tower. Something unexpected is unseen. This is a whole new way of life. It can be a sudden shock. It's a dramatic change. This sometimes, it's a conflict. It could be an overthrow of an existing way of life or your old notions being upset. But this is a disruption that's going to bring enlightenment in, in its wake. It could be an upheaval that releases pent-up emotions or it could be unexpected expenses. But you can find a spiritual opportunity within drama, which is a surprise, a rapid transformation. It could be a revelation. This appearance of this card does usually herald a swift and dramatic change. Sometimes it's extremely upsetting. You'll need to rebuild and refocus. This is going to be a new era coming in. These are ambitious goals with massive change. Your, your soul could be evolving over this. Could be a, a defeat of false philosophies. This can also be a Scorpio or an Aries because the ruling planet is in Mars. Now your advice from the Oracle deck, The Sacred Traveler by Denise Lynn. Capricorn, you've got desert passage. Trust that there's a divine plan. Even if it seems that life has areas of barrenness, Beneath the surface, life is transforming in accordance with your highest good. Trust that you are guided, even if it doesn't always seem like it. There are spiritual guides, allies, and angels surrounding you. Listen with your heart. Act on your instincts. Believe that the messages you are being given are in your highest good. Get down to basics. Trust what you feel. And the sacred traveler wants you to know that the desert path can seem like a vast wasteland. Yet it is in the isolation that the immense insights and intuition can emerge. In times of old, sages and visionaries retreated into the desert to connect more deeply with spirit. If in the past you trusted your instincts and then later it seemed to be a mistake, don't let that keep you from trusting your intuition now. Often those things that we thought were a mistake in the past, in hindsight, were the best thing possible for us. As you open to your intuition, you will sense messages from and the loving presence of your spirit guides and ancestors. There is a potent plan for your life. Trust. Here's your animal message from the deck by Susie Green. Capricorn, you've got wild boar. Whatever tradition or others expect of you, only to yourself be true. Jungle lore casts meaty wild boar as a banquet for others, but boar reverses the role of predator and prey, proving tradition wrong. 
If you allow society or individuals to dictate the part that you play in life, constant friction between outer persona and inner desire will cause stress and deep unhappiness, and with time, resentment. If your role is a sham, then your relationships with others will also be false. Bohr counsels that you be true to yourself so that you may, in turn, be true to others. Here's your take note moment. Capricorn, the law of your mind is the law of belief. We must know what belief is, why it works, and how it works. We need to believe in the way our mind works to actually believe in belief itself. The belief of your mind is the thought of your mind. It's just that simple. Just that. All of our experiences in, in life, events, conditions, and acts are the reaction of our subconscious mind to our thoughts. Okay, you guys, more next time, so I hope you stay tuned in by leaving me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.